My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? I want to show you how to set up automation on the PreSonus Fader Port 8. I'm working on a mix for an artist named Rick Bills, and here's a good opportunity to use some volume automation. Uh, for this lead vocal, I'm using the Warm Audio WA-2A, and we've got a line here that, or really a phrase, that's uh, just a little lower, has a little less energy uh, than the rest of it, and I'll play it for you here. Things what it seem now, this what I mean now. I ain't playing, you can take it to the bank. No gas for that ass, but I keep it in the tank. So listen to the line, I ain't playing. Uh, you can hear how it's a little bit lower than the phrase that comes before it. Things what it seem now, this what I mean now. I ain't playing, you can take it to the bank. So we're going to fix that with volume automation, and the great thing about using the Vader Port 8 is that we won't have to touch the mouse. Uh, before we get to the Vader Port 8, we do have one thing that we need to change in the setup here to be able to do this. Um, so take your mouse and come up to this upper left corner, and you should have uh, Vader Port 8 in this drop down. Uh, you want to select it, and it's going to pull up with the Vader Port 8. And we're going to have some customizable uh, options here, uh, these three uh, user keys. So user three is set to auto scroll. I never use this at all. So we're going to right click, go to assign command, and we're going to type uh, next. And under automation, we're going to select uh, next parameter. So what that's going to do is allow us to... Uh, go through uh, volume and pan uh, those automation parameters uh, without having to do it with a keyboard shortcut or use the mouse. And you can see user one is going to show or hide your automation. All right, so I'm going to get my uh, camera set up to show the fader port eight, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the fader port eight here. And the automation section is in the upper right above the knob. We've got latch, trim, off, touch, write, and read. Those are all of the controls for automation. Uh, there's three modes that you can uh, use to write automation in, and that's latch, touch, and write. Uh, for this, I'm going to use touch. Uh, the reason I'm using touch is with the touch parameter, uh, let's say my track is, let's say the fader is at zero dB. Uh, volume, for example, if I push the fader up 3 dB and then when I let it go, the fader is going to return back to its original position, which in this case would be 0 dB. Uh, for example, if my fader was at negative 2 dB and I pulled the fader down to negative 6 dB, once I let it go, it's going to go back to its original position. So for this, I'm going to use touch uh, because I want it to go back to its original position position once I let go. So we're going to first show the automation. Uh, well, first I'm going to select the track. So you want to, if you can go into a uh, channel mode and if you're already selected on that track in studio one, uh, if you press this knob in, it's going to jump to the track uh, that's highlighted in studio one. Uh, we're going to uh, hold shift. And if you hit the uh, user one, it's going to show your automation track. So remember, we took user three and selected uh, show next parameter. So we can hold shift uh, user three, and it should move you over to volume. And if you do it one more time, it would go to pan. Uh, but for this, of course, we want to do volume automation. So from there, I'm going to select touch so I can put the fader into touch mode. So it's going to react when I touch the fader. And let's fix that part. Things what it seem now, this what I mean now. I ain't playing, you can take it to the bank. No gas for that ass, but I keep it in the tank. And when they act tough. All right, and when you're done, you can switch it to read, which means it's going to read the automation. And let's hear what we did. 
Things what it seem now, this what I mean now I ain't playing, you can take it to the bank No gas for that ass, but I keep it in the tank And when they act uh, Let's listen to that one more time Things what it seem now, this what I mean now I ain't playing, you can take it to the bank No gas for that ass, but I keep it in the tank And not perfect, but uh, it'll it'll do for this example. And uh, for a reference, what we had before, uh, if we go to uh, if we go to undo, this is what we had before. Things what it seem now, this what I mean now. I ain't playing. You can take it to the bank. And back to redo, and this is what we have now. Things what it seem now, this what I mean now. I ain't playing, you can take it to the bank. No gas for that ass, but I keep it in the tank. Okay, so again, not perfect, but better. Uh, but that is how you can do automation on the Fader Port 8. Again, we did all that uh, without touching the mouse. Uh, just remember to uh, reassign one of your. Uh, user buttons to show the next parameter and then that way if I wanted to do panning automation after that I can use that next parameter to switch over to the pan automation uh, versus using the mouse to select it on the track. Alright, any questions, comments, let me know and I'll catch y'all next time.